Hi, this is Andy from Uberbike. You might be confused as to which disc brake pad compound is best for you. So in this short video, we want to make sure you're picking the right pads from the five compound types that we offer to best match the riding style and the conditions you ride in. First up is our E-Matrix compound. This pad's become one of our most popular compound choices for good reason. Although this compound was initially developed for use with e-bikes, riders of non-power assisted bikes finding the benefits of this compound also, as these pads offer a strong bike response with excellent levels of modulation and brake power, but without the grabby initial bite, so reduces unwanted wheel lockups. It's a perfect compound choice for e-bikes and other riding styles that require maximum control from long descents and high heat braking. Number 4 on the list is our Race Matrix compound. This is a high performance, medium density resin based pad that uses a blend of different density friction materials to create a pad that not only has a strong initial bite response, has a strong progressive feel throughout the braking range with an increasing durability over standard resin based pads. Another unique feature of this pad is that we've been able to reduce the thickness of the back plate which allows for a 25% increase in friction material without increasing the pad's overall thickness and has one of the highest levels of stopping power in our range. Number 3 is our Sintered Compound Pads. Sintered pads use full metallic content and are the hardest wearing pads in our range so it makes for an excellent pad choice when riding in gritty and abrasive trail conditions or if you're looking for a pad compound that offers the longest life. These are a harder density compound so can lack a little of that initial buy response compared to resin based pads and tend to be a little more harsh on road to wear too but that's a trade off for a pad that offers this level of durability. Next up are our semi metallic pads which are the closest pads we offer to an OEM pad in terms of modulation and performance. The main difference is, is that we add more metallic content to the compound which improves both pad performance and life. This compound offers a really strong initial bite with good modulation and comes in at our lowest price point. These are a softer compound so will wear a little quicker than the other compounds but that's a trade off if you're wanting that super strong initial bite response from cold. Last up are Kevlar disc brake pads. Similar to the last compound, Kevlar pads are a race spec pad and use a softer compound to achieve that strong bite response from cold. It's a popular choice for riders who prefer the feel of resin based pads but looking for a strong progressive feel with improved brake performance. We use high strength Kevlar and carbon fibres to increase the compound's durability which also helps extend the pad's life over OEM resin based pads. I'll also quickly mention that with the exception of our sintered compound, all of our compounds are resin based so are rotor friendly and safe to use in all rotor and brake types from mountain bike to road bike. When using sintered pads, double check your non uber bike rotors that it's not marked for resin pad use only. So hopefully this video has helped you make some pad compound choices and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time.